Welcome to part one of a lesson on solving trig equations with half angle and multiple angles using substitution. To begin, we want to solve the sine of x divided by two equals square root two minus sine of x divided by two. And we're told to solve on the interval from zero to 360 degrees, where the interval includes zero and does not include 360. The first thing to recognize here is this is the interval for x and our angle is x divided by two. So if x is between zero and 360 degrees, then the angle x divided by two is between zero and 180 degrees. And because we have a half angle, we'll perform a substitution. We will let u equal x divided by two. If we let u equal x divided by two, notice this implies that x is equal to two times u. And now performing the substitution, we have sine of u equals square root two minus sine u. And now we need to solve the equation for sine u, and therefore we will add sine u to both sides. Simplifying, we have two sine u equals square root two. The next step is to divide both sides by two. Simplifying, we have sine u equals square root two divided by two. And now from here, having a sine function value of square root two divided by two should remind us of a 45 degree angle. If we take a look at the 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, where we label the two legs one and the hypotenuse square root two, and notice how sine 45 degrees is equal to one divided by square root two, or the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. And if we rationalize the denominator, we do get square root two divided by two. And on the coordinate plane, sine theta is equal to y divided by r, and y is positive in the first and second quadrants. So now we will sketch a 45 degree reference angle in the first and second quadrants, as well as the reference triangle. So here's the 45 degree angle in the first quadrant and the corresponding reference triangle. And now let's sketch the 45 degree reference angle in the second quadrant, which would be here. And again, the corresponding reference triangle. So the solutions to sine u equals square root two divided by two is 45 degrees and the second solution is 135 degrees. So now we know u is equal to 45 degrees or 135 degrees. And remember, since u is equal to x divided by two, we're only looking for the angles from zero degrees to 180 degrees. But we're trying to solve the equation for x, not u. And since x is equal to two u, the solutions in terms of x are x equals two times 45 degrees, as well as two times 135 degrees. And therefore our final solutions are x equals 90 degrees and x equals 270 degrees. Before we take a look at our second example, let's verify this graphically. In blue we have the graph of y equals sine of x divided by two. In red we have the graph of y equals the square root of two minus sine of x divided by two. And notice how there are two points of intersection, one occurring at 90 degrees and the other occurring at 270 degrees, verifying our solutions are correct. And now let's take a look at a second example. We wanna solve the equation two cosine three x minus square root three equals zero on the interval from zero to 360 degrees. And again, this interval is for x. Notice our angle is three x. So if x is on the interval from zero to 360 degrees, Notice three x is the only interval from zero to 1080 degrees. For the next step, we'll perform a substitution and let u equal three x. Notice if u is equal to three x, x is equal to u divided by three, or if we want one third times u. Performing the substitution, we have two cosine u minus square root three equals zero. 
And now we'll solve the equation for cosine u by adding square root three to both sides and then dividing by two, which gives us cosine u is equal to square root three divided by two. And now having a cosine function value of square root three divided by two should remind us of a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle where the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is square root three divided by two. And on the coordinate plane, since cosine u is equal to x divided by r, and x is positive in the first and fourth quadrants, we will now sketch a 30 degree reference angle in the first and fourth quadrants, as well as the corresponding reference triangles. So here's the 30 degree reference angle in the first quadrant. And here's the 30 degree reference angle in the fourth quadrant. So notice how in the first quadrant we have u equals 30 degrees. But remember, u is equal to three x, and therefore we need to find all the angles from zero to 1,080 degrees. And therefore, we also need to find the co-terminal angles with 30 degrees, which would be plus 360 degrees times k, where k is some integer. This would be all the angles co-terminal to 30 degrees. And then the angle in the fourth quadrant is 330 degrees. But again, we need all of the co-terminal angles to 330 degrees from zero to 1,080 degrees. So we'll write this as 330 degrees plus 360 degrees k, where again k is some integer. And now let's list all these solutions in terms of u from zero degrees to 1,080 degrees. So we have u equals 30 degrees, and then 30 degrees plus 360 degrees, which would be 390 degrees. And then adding another 360 degrees gives us 750 degrees. If we add another 360 degrees, the angle would be more than 1,080 degrees, and therefore we stop. And we also have u equals 330 degrees plus 360 degrees gives us 690 degrees plus 360 degrees gives us 1050 degrees. And the next angle would be greater than 1080 degrees. So here are the six solutions in terms of u, but remember we are trying to solve the equation in terms of x, not u, where x is equal to one third times u. So to find the solutions in terms of x, we need to multiply each of these angles by one third. So x is equal to one third times 30 degrees, which is 10 degrees, one third times 390 degrees, which is 130 degrees, and then one third times 750 degrees, which is 250 degrees. And we also have x equals one third times 330 degrees, which is 110 degrees, one third times 690 degrees, which is 230 degrees. And finally, we have one third times 1050 degrees, which is 350 degrees. So here we have our six solutions in terms of x. And before we go, let's verify this graphically. In blue, we have the graph of y equals two cosine three x minus square root three, and red, we have the graph of y equals zero. Notice over the interval from zero to 360 degrees, we have one, two, three, four, five, six solutions. And it's hard to tell, but these six angles are the angles we found by solving the equation. I hope you found this helpful.